Oh, my wonderful university days. I remember them like they were yesterday. My weird friend was a baker. And yes, his friend was homeless. I remember how I used to walk past homeless people all the time. Yes, those were the days. Okay, you might be a little bit confused. So, back in those university days, we made a short film called Cruel World for our year two film production degree. And by we, I mean a bunch of useless film students. Judith was the director. Judith was a controlling bitch. I was cinematographer and she didn't let me touch the camera at all. She was nasty and spiteful, so in the end, I didn't do so much for this short film. So here is my commentary where I'm just going to rip it apart. Here's my film debut. I see your shaking hand and I say, no, sir. And then walk to nowhere. This street doesn't go anywhere. And that is my acting career completed. This is Ed. Ed has bread. He is a baker. You know how bakers walk down the road with bread, like they are in Balamori. This is reality. Harvey is the homeless guy. He's a good friend. His thanet roots means he is good at portraying a homeless person. Just look at this shot. Incredible cinematography. Look at that blown out sky. The random people too. It's just so good and so real. Great work, Judith. Now we are inside Candy's. Candy's is not a brothel, it's a place for food. And Harvey steals the bread. Oh no. The baker runs after him. Oh no. Then the policeman in the 99p police hat chases after him. Oh no. This is what really happens in reality. It happens every day. Then they just run, and run, and run. If anyone in your film group suggests a chase, don't do it. You are not Vin Diesel. It doesn't look fast or furious. It looks slow and lame. What I like most is the sound of the footsteps. It's realism, so real. Most films have soundtracks, but most films suck. We hit Harvey with a car, then the policeman falls over. There's so many unique and real stunts. You see, he dropped the baguette here because, well, to be honest, we filmed the later scenes and we forgot to put the baguette in those scenes. So we filmed this additional scene where he jumps over the wall and drops the baguette. The more you know. He gives the bread to the homeless girl and gets beaten up by the policeman and the baker. This is what real police brutality looks like, because this film is in reality. So real, you can see the people walking behind. Ken Loach would watch this and go, damn son, that's some real shit right there. I don't know why Ken Loach is American. Um, and then the film ends. Did you miss the big problem? When the homeless guy encounters the homeless girl, he was meant to give the bread out of pity because he sees a homeless woman and he feels like she needs it more. Not because he was looking for somewhere to hide it. So in the end, the homeless guy isn't a hero, he is still just a thief. So there is no point to this short film. But there is a real point to this video. If there is a Judith in your life that is overt in their bitchy dominance and nastiness, don't take that. You are better than that. Stand up for yourself and don't let them win. Otherwise, something as terrible as Cruel World might happen. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.